Hey everybody. I don't know if you can see them, but there's little ducks swimming there in the pond in front of me. They like to get the water out of the stream. <laughs> like I was used to do when I was a kid. There's mama over there by the side. They like to splash in it. I wonder, yeah, I can, I can zoom up even when it's in video mode. That's pretty cool. Maybe you can see him splashing. And there's a dragonfly just flew in front of me. I saw a whole swarm of dragonflies the other day. Must have been a little bit of swamp land that the, all the rain has formed in kind of an odd spot. Anyway, out doing my walk. Looks like it wants to rain again, but I don't know if it will tonight or not. For the weekend, for sure. The trouble is, is the tributaries from here are starting to overflow with the drainage off of all the rain. Ground can't soak anymore in. So, kind of hopeful it kind of stops raining for a bit. Just because there's people downstream that are getting awful wet. Be dangerous pretty soon. Anyway, I'm going to keep moving. Try not to bother Mother. And then over here, there's uh, humans playing in the water. They got the pool filled up. Here's the uh, my little, little falls that they have. See, this is the side with the ducks. And that's Mama Duck there. And then there's the babies out seeing what there is to see, finding whatever it is they like to eat. getting pretty big this bunch. There's some that just hatched but they mostly stay to the main water where it's a lot more water between uh, the ducks and the humans then. So and then over here this is the where sometimes the finches, this gold finches and the little House finches will come and get a drink of water sometimes. Oh, there's a chickadee, I think. Chickadee! I don't know if it's a chickadee or not. It might be a sparrow. There's up in there. Uh, let's see if I can see him. There he is. Hey, he blends in well. His tail feathers sometimes moves. I can't zoom in anymore. I'm at the max. It's not a chickadee though because they chirp and this one's making a little different noise. Anyway this is where they come and they get a drink of water sometimes. And it's got a nice tree here so they can hide if they need to. This is just one of the ways you can walk around here. It's a pine tree. And here's all the people in the pool over here. That's the pool. They finally filled it up with water. I won't take their pictures unless they want to be taken. I think, I think it closes around 10 maybe. I think those, I think maybe those are peonies maybe. Maybe somebody can tell me. I think that's what that bush is. They get real heavy and then they fall over. And that's wild grass there, that, that's the prairie grass, used to be all over this part of the country.
continent at one time. You people could get lost in it. it used to cover Minnesota most of them, at least the flat parts of Minnesota. And here's some of the other people that decorated their balconies and such with flowers. And they're going to have a contest later this year to see who wins. I don't know who votes. <laughs> Doesn't matter. I did it mostly because I like to uh, I like to uh, have something that I created, I guess. See if I could do it. And it worked. They're growing. <laughs> that was a good thing. My grandma showed me a lot about how to plant things and grow things. So I'm glad that worked out. I think it might be sprinkling. I think there's more of that stuff that kills cattle over into New Zealand. Maybe not. It looks a little different shape. I don't know if it's the same stuff. Maybe it is. And then here's some little planters that they put in around the pool. There's the pool over there. I haven't tried it out yet, and I've been here almost three years now, so I guess I should try it this year, huh? So, anyway, I'm starting to go around back home now. Hope you all have a great evening. Take you on more of a tour next time. Have a good night. Bye-bye.